What is going on everybody? I'm here to revive my dead channel. Today I'm going to be doing the long requested tutorial on the Google Dinosaur Game character swap. I have been getting countless comments on asking how to do this and so I am here to provide. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is get the sprite sheet from your browser so that we can edit it and then make our own and then upload it to the game so you want to go to chrome colon slash slash dino and it will just take you to the game you don't need to turn off your wi-fi at all as you can see if we start playing we automatically get put into arcade mode we can just play the game as you do uh okay so what we need to do is click f12 to go to inspect element go to offline resources and then offline resources 1x. You can also edit the offline resources B day 1x, which is basically just the birthday variation when Chrome detects it's your birthday. But for now, we're just going to be editing the offline resources 1x. So you want to double click that, do a control C on that, and then paste it into your browser, and you'll be taken to this sprite sheet right here. Uh, you want to right click and save image as, and just save it to your desktop or whatever. I already have it downloaded, so not going to go into that. And then next, you want to go to GIMP.org and download GIMP. It's a photo manipulation program. If you already have, like, Paint.net or Photoshop, then you don't need to worry about this, but this is supposed to be for anyone to do. So I highly recommend GIMP. It's basically a free version of Photoshop. So we have the sprite sheet we want to edit, and we have the program to edit it. Now we can either make our own sprites, so we can just randomly draw over this sprite sheet right here, and make whatever we want or we can use pre-existing sprites now i thought this has a t uh, two frames of a running animation so what's another sprite that has two frame running animation and super mario bros 2 actually gives mario a two frame running animation it's and it actually looks good it's really funny actually because most nes games use a three frame running animation but not this and i'm going to be using the snes version instead of the NES version, so it just looks nicer. All right, so now that we have this sprite sheet downloaded and this sprite sheet downloaded, we are going to mesh the two together in GIMP. So all you have to do in GIMP is drag on over the uh, Chrome Dinosaur sprite sheet, and you'll see it appears in here. This is not gonna be a GIMP tutorial, by the way. Um, I don't really wanna get into that, it just, yeah, anyways, you don't really need to know too much for this. And then you want to go to File, Open, and then open whatever sprite sheet you chose. I don't really feel like showing all of my files, so I'm just going to do that off camera. Alright, and what should you should uh, get is a second tab up here with all of your sprite sheets. Now, let's see here. We have, we're just going to be editing the dinosaur sprites to be Mario. So, we have this idle sprite. That's the one right when you right here basically it's before you even press anything we have a blinking sprite this is actually the jumping animation i think he blinks when you jump i'm not too sure though i'm probably just going to edit those to be the same because it's not too important so that's the jumping this is the normal running animation as i said two frames this is the death animation not sure why one has an outline and one doesn't I don't even, I, I have no idea how the game works internally. And then we have the ducking sprite. So as you can see, pretty much everything is two frames. I'm not going to be editing this first frame, because whenever I tried to edit it last time, it just didn't work. So I'm just going to be keeping that as is and editing all of these right here. Okay, so we have both the sheets. How do we put the Mario over the dinosaur? First, you want to select the select by color tool. Click on the background color and then click delete. Before you do that, you should probably make sure it has an alpha channel so that it can be transparent. So just click add alpha channel if that didn't work. You need to make sure the background's transparent. So I think the sprite I'm going to edit first is this sprite right here, the first running sprite. And so I'm just going to use the rectangle select tool right here to grab this sprite of Mario. I can move it down a little bit because there's a bunch of extra space up there. Then you want to do control C Come to the other one, do Control v and then you'll have Mario in here. You want to right-click this, do to new layer, and then use the flip tool 
make sure that it's set to horizontal and then click on Mario so that he flips around to the direction you want him to be looking. And then you have Mario in this scene. And you might notice that when you first import your sprite, it actually automatically sets it to have the palette of the dinosaur sprite sheet. So that's really helpful. You don't have to mess with the colors at all. It just automatically sets it to be that color. All right, for this next part, you want to align Mario with the sprite of the dinosaur. So select the sprite sheet, come up here and use the rectangle select tool to select all of the edges of the dinosaur. You don't have to do this. It just helps a lot to visualize where the edges are. And then you just want to drag Mario into the very corner right there. If you select him, he should be right on the edge, just like that. Before you scale Mario, you want to make sure that you go to the Tool Options tab up here. And then right here, you want to make sure the interpolation is set to None and the clipping is set to Crop to Result. This is very important, otherwise it's going to look really trash. Next, you want to go to Select and then None. And then you can take Mario, use the... Uh, where's the Scale Tool? There we go. Use the Scale Tool. Grab him, hold down Shift, grab the corner and then just scale it up uh, to right about here where he reaches the top and then let go and click scale. Now you'll notice he looks really weird. We'll get to that in a second. First off, we need to make sure that he's centered. Now you can eyeball this. It's, it's not, it doesn't have to be super precise, but you can kind of count the pixel thing. So there's like one, two, three, four on that side and one, two, three, four on that side of the dinosaur so you know he's centered on the dinosaur and then you want to select the sprite sheet select the eraser tool go to the size ramp it up a bunch maybe that's a bit too much and then just erase the dinosaur out from behind him so that you can't see it to make sure you got the entire thing out from behind him you want to get rid of the mario sprite just by clicking this little eye it'll make him vanish for a little bit and then you can get rid of all the rest and then click the I again, and he's back. And there we go. Mario has replaced this dinosaur. Now you might notice his sprite looks a little bit weird. Ow! It doesn't look as weird as it did a second ago, honestly. But So, if your sprite looks weird, because GIMP was not really made to resize sprites. So if your sprite looks kind of weird, you might have to go in and do some manual editing. Honestly, I think this looks okay. Like... It's not that bad. So I'm just going to leave it as is. To do manual editing, you just want to make sure you have the layer selected there. You want to use the pencil tool, set it to whatever size you want. And then I have black selected here, so it, I can just, you know, draw over like that. If I want his eyes to be a bit bigger or something. I think it looks okay like that for now. And there you have it. That's one sprite put in. And now you just have to do the same thing for all of the rest. Just follow the steps for every sprite. I'll put a time lapse right here of me doing that. Alright, I believe that is all of the sprites. As I said before, GIMP isn't really made for sprite resizing, so some of them won't look exactly the same as they would in the smaller sprite sheet, but honestly, I think this looks okay. It won't turn out the best in the game, and I think my Sonic one will look a little bit better in this one, but I, I'm I liking how this is turning out. Alright, so once you have all of the sprites you want replaced, replaced, which by the way, you can actually replace other sprites as well. For example, 
if you want to change the cacti into like pipes and the these things into paratroopers, then technically you could. But once you have but once you have everything edited that you want to have edited, just come here, go to file, and then overwrite download or download one.png is mine is whatever it was named before. Just click on that. And then it will have overwritten the original dinosaur sprite sheet that is on your computer. Alright, so this next part is the kind of complicated part. You need to have a web server or a website or something that you can upload the file to as a PNG. Now, I have a friend who has a website and he was very generous to let me upload this to his website. His name's Slinthin, he's super cool. I'll leave a link to his website in the description so you can check up on all the stuff he does. But yeah, if you don't have like a web server or a website, I don't think you can do this. This is the only way I've been able to find it. But basically you just need a URL that links directly to the picture. I'm sure there's some online service out there that lets you upload files like this and get a URL. If anyone knows of any service like that, leave it in the comments and I'll pin it. All you have to do once you have that URL is head on over to the dinosaur game, paste it in the offline resources 1x section, just like I'm doing here, and then you'll have your character mod. You'll see Mario like flash up where that part is right there for a little bit, and then bam, you got your character mod. Now, this is actually an older version of footage I'm using, so it doesn't look as good. I didn't spend as much time on this. So here is some footage of my Sonic one, which I am pretty proud of and I think looks really good. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton, and it's literally just like one button press for you. So. If you want to help a guy out and you enjoyed the video, then please just hit that subscribe button. Smack that subscribe button! So, yeah, that's how you can make your own custom characters in the Google Dinosaur game. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment below. I read every comment. I will probably reply to every comment that has a question or a problem. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.